then when I was out, like out of the water, I was kind of like, oh, I was just swimming where there could have been sharks. I was like, I am still alive. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it would have been really easy, but it's not. It's way harder when the waves crash and everything, and the bar just goes flying, and I hurt my elbow. We're not doing too bad. We're beginners, so I thought I'd do a lot worse, but I caught a good few waves, and uh, <laughs> I got a bad wipeout. I just, the nose of the board just went straight down into the water, and I just went about 10 feet into the air. Good girl, Jessica! Good girl! <laughs> Her first time not falling. But, um, yeah, I'm a bit tired, but I'm gonna just rest myself for a few minutes and go back out again. Next morning, the girls call into Chadwick's, their agency while in Sydney. Joseph Tenney is their booker, and he's been working hard behind the scenes, pitching the girls for live shows. Lucy finally gets the news she's been hoping for, but Ellen gets a blow. I've got some news for you regarding today. All five of you are confirmed for the Ready to Wear 3 show, which is great. Very, very pleased about that. Bad news is... Ellen, you were taken off Alice McCall okay. and you were taken off Constantina Mitas as well. Okay. I think it's one of those things where they often confirm more girls than they actually have garments for. Yeah. So someone's got to be a casualty and unfortunately okay. this time it's you. Ellen has had a great week, but this is a shock. Understanding this business is difficult. My confidence level has just sort of been knocked by the start of the week, kind of losing the Seventh Wonderland one and then not being able to do Zara Phillips and the same with Constantina Mitaz. I didn't really know that a model could be cancelled that early and how your schedule changes so much. You can be cancelled the day or a minute before you go on, so that was pretty hard to hear. Today is the second Ready to Wear show. Lucy spent all morning anticipating a cancellation. She can't believe she has finally made it into hair and makeup. Hey, hi. So I just saw your outfit oh. that you're gonna wear, and oh. it's pretty cool. You're gonna love it. It's got like one of those chain link necklaces it's like, that are long, and it's, it's beautiful. And it's yeah, this is definitely an important show for me because Dave and Jenny are gonna be there, and it's my first chance to prove myself to them. I've got to be careful, because sometimes when I walk, it's kind of natural for me to move my head and um, Deborah Shaw said not to do that as well. Cancellations aren't the only things the girls have to deal with. Long hours and busy schedules are getting to them. I'm tired at this stage. I know, like, it's all, like, it's fun and everything, but I think it's the waiting around, sitting there, people pulling and poking at your face and your hair and everything, so it's kind of tiring. It's not as easy and as glamorous as everyone thinks. There's a lot of running, a lot of racing, and uh, it's it's tiring. It's very tiring, and I think just being over here in Australia, it's it's tough. Do you see all the guys like with their little gangster chains and shit on? When the music comes on, when we're in the lineup, that's when it'll start kicking in. But at the moment, just waiting, just waiting to go. As usual, there are last-minute hitches. And for the second time this week, Jessica has a wardrobe malfunction. My actual outfit didn't fit me. What? My actual, like, proper outfit didn't fit me. Too small or too big? Too small. Wouldn't fit up over my ass. When I went home from Paris, I stopped eating junk food and everything, and, like, I had the odd chocolate bit there and here, and, yeah. But, like, when I go away, it's like I just eat ant. I think it's white bread mostly, because I can't eat brown bread. It's not nice. The waiting is over. It's showtime. The 
Irish girls take their walks one after the other, starting with Tabia. Jessica makes her entrance with her hand on her hip again. Four days into Fashion Week, Lucy finally gets her first professional walk down the runway. Lucy's had a tough week. I mean, she's had a couple tough breaks, but, you know, today was her first show. She was nervous. Uh, she said that us being there, it made her a little bit nervous. You know, she's working on her posture, and her walk is great. So I was a little bit surprised that she got off to a rocky start. Didn't really know why. I did have my ups and downs, definitely. Getting cancelled for some of those shows was really disappointing and depressing and stuff, but it's definitely not as glamorous as people think it is. It's probably like 10% glamour and 90% stress or something like that. Coming up, it's the final show and the girls' last chance to impress Jenny and David. But as modelling life sinks in, some of the girls wonder if it's really for them. I'm not sure if modelling is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. 